Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of JR's Tools and More. In this video, we are finally going to start putting the body panels back on to the GY6 scooter. Yes, about time. So, let's get started. I put this, uh, this panel on first. Okay, it's actually the uh, front nose of the scooter. I put an 8mm uh, bolt here and another 8mm bolt on this side. This uh, this tab and this tab, which is a met, which is this is a plumbing strap because the tab that's here, but on this side broke off. So this is how I got it. Okay, turn the scooter around. See, this is how I got it. Metal, it's a plumbing strap. Um, this to me, it's easier doing it this way. So if anybody you know takes their body panels off on their on their uh, Chinese GY6 scooter, and you break it. Plumbing straps work really work really well, like uh, with small little sub-tapping screws to hold the plumbing strap on here. All right now, this piece right here, this is easier. And what I have to do is put this panel. Now, this right here, uh, I accidentally broke, but it's still a big major deal. So this piece, so this flap and this flap actually fit here and here, and then this and this supposed to sit here and here while this uh piece this hole right here which this right here okay goes like that with an eight millimeter bolt that goes right here all right so let me put this back on okay and it's it, it is a little bit of a challenge because um because when you put this on like i have here you got to feed the you got to feed this up through here like this because if you force it and you hit these wires you're going to end up breaking the wires and you really don't want to do that okay uh, the key ignition goes in this key ignition goes in a spot right there like that and hey okay, just like this now you take the this piece like i said it goes here with an eight millimeter bolt like this like that, tilt it. All right, I don't want to. Okay, I just want to make it just a little loose, because I don't want it. I don't want it too tight, because then it can't, then I can't, um, then I can't maneuver everything or whatever it is and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna put this. These are the turn signals. Okay, so now this. Okay. So we turn the scooter this way. All right, hopefully you can see this. All right, now, the, oh, okay, maybe, okay, here it is, okay. There is a long neck here, so there's a long uh, neck here, 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 and there's another one. So there's a neck here, 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 as well as the same as on this side, okay? Now, th there is a neck here, 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 and here. Okay, you bring it up like so. And you basically line it up like so into until the um till the neck, the orange neck goes into the black neck. And, and once you and once you have that set like that, all right, you basically hold it. What I'm gonna do is take this screw carefully, put it in here, like that. That one's done. Okay, and I put another one right here, right there. Okay, put it right like that. Okay, so that's that. Now I go ahead and uh, turn the scooter around. Okay. Two turn signal um, lenses or lenses with the housing here. And I'm gonna install this one in, uh, to right here, but there is, a, there is uh, a neck here, here, here with holes, as well as this side over here. So I'm gonna install this one first. So what I'm going to do is, hopefully you all can see this, I'm going to start the screw, okay, but I'm not going to go too fast because this plastic is brittle. Okay, now I can go ahead and tighten these down carefully. Like I'm doing, I don't want to do. I don't want to go too fast, because if you go too fast, you end up hearing that noise, and then you gotta buy. Then you end up gotta buy a whole new um, uh, 
front nose here and lights and stuff like that and yeah I'm gonna stall this side or this side okay gotta make sure that all my screws are gonna be good down but again I'm not gonna tighten them down too fast I'm gonna inch it like increment like I'm doing it trigger it let go trigger it let go because it, like I mentioned it is soft plastic I'm gonna put this up here like so and I have to adjust the black piece black piece, uh, black piece panel here and the reason why is, let me see if I can turn it here a little bit, is because I got to start lining these. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's bring this. Okay, now, now this right here has to have a screw. So now the tab. Now the tab. Um, sorry about that. Now the tab on this one's good, tab on this one's broken off. So what I may end up having to do is leave this one alone, but do uh, do the insides like I did over here. It's on this side and hopefully it'll hold. So I'm gonna put it like this, make sure it's all lined up and good. Whoop, so it does that. All right. There we go. That's that. I'm gonna take this, all right, put this up in there, put this like this, all right. Now this, now this one right here, I may end up having to use a short, uh, a, like a stubby, uh, a stubby screwdriver, because I'm not gonna have that much room to put that Ryobi in here and do it. So let me get a stubby. All right, got my stubby. So let, let's see if I can let's see if I can do this. Okay, so it looks like I got the wrong thickness screws because uh, there are different thickness. I, <clears throat> sorry, there are thick there are different thickness screws because if you use too much of a thick of a screw and you screw it in it will snap the plastic so it looks like that one's too thick let me try this one right here this one right here don't, don't look to be too bad yeah here we go let me try this uh, it looks like this one looks like this one will work okay a little better and do another one uh nope So this is what I've done. Um, I undid this screw in the opposite side of the screw, took them both out. And the reason why this isn't fitting in here correctly is because the blue scooter that I bought and took apart, okay, for the parts for this, um, this isn't gonna fit in right. So what I may have to do after it's all done, may have to dremel this out and make this fit better but for right now, I'm not going to bother doing it. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to have to proceed on with the rest of the uh, scooter and then do any adjustments uh, that I need to do as far as what, like how fits, what this, what that. So, yeah. All right. So now the next step we got to do is we got to disconnect the battery, disconnect the CDI box, and then I'll be able to put the, uh, this floor piece panel here. And then, and then uh, bolt, uh, screw down or bolt it down. So let me take this, that, take this off. Put the, that right there so I don't lose them. Same thing with this. 
that. Whoop. Okay. That the battery. Okay, put that down there. Now I can go ahead and put everything through here. Uh, see, excuse me. CDI box can come uh, or can come apart. Sometimes it's a little tricky because I don't want to pull on the wires and break them. One. Same thing on this side. Pull, make sure I'm on the white connector, not the wires, and pull out. Set that down. Now I can feed this through here as best as I can. And now what I can do is take this piece right here, put this. Now there's a, a, a tab here and there's a tab right here. This tab goes right here. This tab goes right there. So it actually lines up and it could be a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge. So let's see what I can possibly do here to get this in there. Okay, like that. Pop that in like that. It's got to sure good. All right. All right, so. Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna unscrew this first. There, pop that out. Now I can go ahead and put this in like so. And the stupidest thing is that this here is supposed to fit this tab Right here is actually supposed to fit right here, but inside. And it looks like it's not. And this is what I was afraid of. So some of this stuff may not be might not be working the way I anticipated to work. Whoop. Yeah. I anticipated to work. So I guess it's gonna have to be just the way it's gonna be. And now there uh, there is a um threaded hole here as well as that side. So what I can do. I need more light. Zeke, light! Ah, there we go. Okay, so let me drop this down right like so. Hopefully, this will work. Huh, guess that did work. Okay, now I gotta do the same thing for the other side. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop. I'm going to turn the scooter around so this side's facing to me. All right, here's what's going on. Um, I had the other um, foot panel here, but this foot panel, or, no, I'm sorry, the other foot panel I had on was not matching up because the blue scooter I took apart and a blue scooter I took the parts from to put onto this scooter to make it scooter complete was actually, this foot panel was not, was not um, fitting right. So I end up taking the the blue scooter panel off and putting the my 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 foot panel original one back on here. So I basically put a, uh, put a bolt here, 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 and here. All right. So they look about they look about this size right here. I hope you can see that. This. So I put one, one, two, three, four. There's the tab here, tab here, tab here. I connect, connect. I pop, pop, pop. Put it down. I took the uh, battery compartment out. Because I could, I could, I could uh, drop the battery compartment in later. They feed the wires through. Um, they can feed the wires through this uh, opening right here. The battery goes here. The CDI box goes right there. So I figured, see, I could drop this in like this. But see, it's still not fitting. It's yeah, it's uh basically it's it's not fitting the way it should. So I'm gonna have to maneuver this in somehow. But I will worry about that later on. So that's what I've done so far. So the next thing I have to do is uh, put a, um, I have to fix this. So I have to bring this forward. So, so this, ta uh, this um, 
adapter or whatever you want to call it fits into this hole and I have to and this side right here I don't have to bother doing but this side I do so this has got to be pulled back towards the back of the scooter to pop it in so let me see if I can get this see I get a pair of uh, vice grips and the vice grips will be easier it'll be uh, easier for me to, uh, to, to clip onto and pull it so let me lock them up do this and all right so here's what i did um there's these little uh tabs as you can see right here at the uh orange tab that's inside of here okay sorry my finger's shaking i got a bad arm so there's a tab right here i took the and then those pliers went in and snapped it off and this right now is a little better than what it was and i actually got it screwed onto here now so now this is done so now I can proceed on with the remaining of the stuff. The left side of the scooter, as you can see, um, I got one eight millimeter bolt started and the tabs that were on here actually broke, I'm sorry, the tabs that are on here actually snapped off because like I mentioned, these plastics are very, very old and very brittle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to maneuver this a little bit more I can loosen this uh, bolt, push it, f push this forward a little bit more, and once I get as close as I can, I'm gonna retighten this uh, bolt back up. Then, um, then I'm gonna to go ahead and put a zip tie here. You know, zip ties all along here, but I really don't want to do that. But I have no choice. So here's an update. Um, so I broke the tabs off in here. Okay, that normally go in, latch onto this, and then I put the bolt here. So I uh, so I zip tied it, as you see here and here, and I actually brought the bolts. So now this black piece right here is actually closer to the yellow. It's actually better than what it was before. It's an HSS 29. So I will have this down in the description box below this video. So if anybody has to do this, okay, at least you know what size driven I used. So every all right. So everybody, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I look for part two of assembling the body panels on the scooter um it's getting late and kind of things i have to take care of so like comment share subscribe see you all in part two of this video peace